So hey peeps, this is the latest Pixel Experience Plus Android 13 build for Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I have installed it yesterday and just reusing it for giving you a review. So if you are new to my channel, then please 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 subscribe to my channel for sake of my motivation and like the video. Let's get started into the review of the room. First of all, guys, I would like to start with the settings. If you go on about to phone, you get to see that Android version is 13 with the November security update, November 5th security update with the kernel version of QL uh, and the build number is itself written TDA 22105 Pixel Experience Suite. After that, after that, guys, you can see this. It is having the latest build. After that, if, if I talk about network and internet settings, I haven't faced any of the issues in the network internet settings. Forever, you get the adaptive connectivity options do here available here, so you can use that also according to your usage. After that, if I just see that here is no options of the apps written, you get the default apps option here. You got the pixel launcher with no customizations available. After that, nothing has been new above here. After that, I would like to talk about the battery here you get the optimization profiles and optimization profiles does working fine it gives damn good performance in of the room so i will talk this about later the battery usage is quite fine in my usage case it's good no issues that i have used faced so far you can that see that for idle rate and heavy i use this for the video recording also so my battery didn't also consist of heavier usage after that, adaptive preference has also been there, so nothing has changed. In the display option, sorry, first one minute. First of all, sound and vibration. Here is the option of me sound in answer. You can use that and it is working fine. So you can use it easily in your with it works on the earphones itself, not on the Bluetooth connection. After that, wallpaper stylus is also given. You can change the color of the color palette and you can see that the color palettes gets changed. After that, the same upgrade 5 cross 5 is given and the theme icon option is also been there. After that, accessibility is option. You get the text to speech output option and here you get the call recording option too. So you can use that audio adjustment and all the normal things that is already present in the Android 12 and rooms are above here. Security, here you get the app security option. You can scan it from here and the screen lock is also available and you can see that the fingerprint is working fine and unlocking not so faster but yeah fingerprint is working fine so you can use this also and guys there is one one small request if you are still watching the video then please like the video and subscribe to my channel because we are really really nearly close to beat 500 subscribers so please subscribe to that also after that digital well-being option is also there you can check that out system you get the because it's a plus edition so you get the gestures option with that also swipe to screenshot which is working fine so no issue that you have to face in that gesture navigation here you get the normal customizations available here you can use that options also according to your usage status bar normal settings nothing has been changed in this everything is working if i Traffic indicator isn't working all around, so yeah, it is a bug, not working fine. After that, the system updated, you can not update manually over here. You can see that update is, has been given out. You have to flash it with the TWRP recovery. And I have already flashed this ROM with the TWRP recovery. The installation steps is similar. Go through the mentioned steps, which is you are seeing right now. About After that, guys, let me show you the smoothness of this room if i open and close any app and now guys i am on the uh, not 120 hertz display enabled you can enable it from display or either i thought it would be option in the quick settings anti flicker mode is also been there so yeah one second let me help you to see minimum refresh rate and here you can enable 120 hertz tap to wake tap to sleep is working but i disabled those settings and a live display option is also there and the bold text option is also been there so you can use that also according to your usage anti flicker mode by which means dc dimming is available if i talk about app closing and opening speed you can see that everything opens as smooth as far if i talk about the l1 certification let me help you to see uh one second um app settings playback specification 
and you can see that there is a L1 security level provided with a wide and there is HDR10 capabilities also available in this room so you can use this as in your Netflix usage after that you can see that everything smooth fine working fine after that let me help you to see the what screenshots about the what benchmarks that I am getting guys it is a small request the charging is not fine you can see that at 640 my battery is at 12 percent still charging and it's showing charging rapidly but after uh, one second uh, taking it through my charging of the battery is slow so i don't think the 33 watt charging was working fine around around this is the anti to score of 3 lakh 69 i'm not happy with these scores because previously i i used to custom room i am forgetting its name it's about Project Elixir or Cherries, I don't know, I can't remember its name, but you can uh, it's, it is having a better score. So, yeah, you can see that there is 5.8 degrees Celsius up in temperature. It is the storage speed test, you can see this. This is a CPU throttling test with a max of 150 GIPS, which is run for 15 minutes at 100 threads. 86 is the max performance. This is a wildlife extreme test, and you got the overall score of 336, and the average FPS is 2. With, this is another wildlife extreme test here you can see that the overall score is 114 with the 6.7 fps this is the geekbench score you can see this and yeah if you talk about the device certification device certification does fine all around and you can see this one two to three things i won't like to note you that the i'm not satisfied with the haptic feedback of this room secondly the Everything is working smooth as smooth 60 Hertz also behaving like 120 Hertz. So no issues in that But sometimes I see that this uh, uh, We got a option. Sorry. We got an error of the crashing apps So I might think that in the next builds they will fix these issues But yeah, the room is super smooth You can flash it with the TWRP and you can do also one thing subscribe to my channel for no more Redmi Note 10 Pro videos so guys, this is all for my review. If you know about the installation steps, you can do check out the description box here. I there I have mentioned everything how to install this room. So I am Arav signing you off. We'll meet you in the next video.